Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? What a cluster. <laughs> gosh. All right. Well, that changes things. You know, a number of years ago when I was growing up, I really thought that any time that you were fishing in cold water or during the winter, that you were pretty much going to have to fish deep in order to catch bass. And I think for a lot of us, that kind of prevents us at times from even fishing for cold water bass because not everybody likes to fish for bass in deeper water. But I remember the first time I ever heard about really bass being in really shallow water in the winter was actually my uncle who lived down in Florida. And he was fishing uh, a tournament on the Harris Chain of Lakes and there was a huge cold snap that came through Florida. And he actually ended up doing really well in a tournament and he was flipping and pitching about six foot of water in 43 degree water temps, which for Florida is like ice cold. And then over the years, I've heard a lot of stories and I personally have seen a lot of times where I'm actually catching fish pretty shallow in cold water. A, a buddy of mine actually catches bass through the ice in like four foot of water. And one of the best ways that I have found to catch that fish is actually by picking up the flipping rod, the flipping and pitching rod. And today I want to give you three tips that you can do to pick up that pitching rod and catch shallow water bass in cold water. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. This video is brought to you by my apparel company, Fin Fishing. Guys, if you haven't heard, I'm super excited to announce that my sun shirts are now made in the US. I'm ex super excited about that. I did a whole video all about it and I'm just really, really pumped. So if you guys would like to help to support the channel, right now through December, those sun shirts are gonna be 25% off. It's the best deal that I'll probably have for those shirts all year. So if you wanna help support the channel, click those links down below and buy a sun shirt today. Tip number one to cold water flipping and pitching. And I believe that this is the most important thing that you need to remember. If you don't remember any of this video, remember this one bit of information. And that is, even though sometimes you'll be catching bass in shallow water during the winter, most of the time there is deep water close by. That is huge. That is so, so important because you actually may be catching fish in five, six, seven foot of water but it has to be immediately adjacent to deep water. Not five, six, seven foot of water anywhere on the lake is going to produce. And when I say deeper water, this is really going to be relative to the body of water that you are fishing. For my uncle down in Florida, when he was catching those fish, deep water was around 10 or 12 foot. Any of those Kissimmee grass lines that he would have that would be in four to six foot of water, really close to that deeper water, that is where those fish were going to be. And to me, it's the same thing no matter where you go in the country. Today, I've been fishing a lake and I found that most of the bass that I'm catching are between nine foot and 11 foot. That seems to be the sweet zone. But I, I ran up this lake and I found a lot of nine and 10 foot of water, but there was only so many creek arms that had 20 and 30 foot of water really close by. Those are the ones that have produced. The ones where I go up the lake and it's all nine and 10 foot, it's very flat. Those areas have not produced at all. If you're pond fishing, you may catch fish shallow, but it may be close to a, a drop where it just goes into five foot of water. That may be deep for a pond. But I can't stress to you how important it is to have deep water close by because when it does get extremely, extremely cold, those bass don't wanna move really, really far to get in a kind of comfort zone. They want to be able to just slide into a little bit deeper water, just away from that cover that they were sitting in when the sun was out. They don't wanna move a great distance. They don't wanna go a mile to get into deep water. So having deep water close by, I'm telling you, it is the most important thing that you can do flipping and pitching during the winter. Now, the next big tip actually comes down to the bait that you are using. And this to me is also 
really, really important. There are two main lures that I'm going to use when I am flipping and pitching in cold water temps. Now, one is a beaver style bait, like the one that I have here. This is actually a Berkeley Creature Hog. It's got the Max Scent technology in it. This is a great bait. It's one that I've used a lot. It's the one that I've been using out here today to catch uh, quite a few bass. Now, the reason that I like this kind of Creature Hog or beaver style bait, another good one is a D-Bomb, and I'll leave a link down below in the description for all these baits, is because you don't want your bait to have a lot of action in cold water. And these beaver style baits, they don't have a lot of action. They don't have a lot of click kick. They more or less just kind of glide down there under the water. And that kind of gliding action where there's not a lot of flipping and flopping, that is what attracts a bass in cold water. Because in cold water, a bass's metabolism has slowed down. As a matter of fact, all the fish species that are in water, all their metabolisms are slowed down. They're not always moving around a lot. There's not, they're not always putting off a ton of uh, vibration and movement. And so those baits that don't move a lot just look more natural. Also, when you are flipping and pitching in colder water, you typically have clearer water. And to me, when I am fishing clearer water situations, that beaver style bait always outperforms over baits like a crawl that has a really aggressive kicking action or a big worm. Now, another bait that I like a lot is a jig with some sort of pork or chunk trailer. This is my big fish bait. This is what I'm gonna use to go out there and catch really, really big fish in the winter and a lot of times you know for example if you're fishing a tournament if i'm just trying to go out there and get a lot of bites i will typically start with that creature hog style bait and once i get into a couple of areas that i know have a lot of fish in them that's when i switch over to the jig to try to get that bigger than average bite now again the really important thing here is the trailer you don't want a trailer that has a ton of action to it it's it's not going to look natural to a bass in that cold water that chunk or that pork style trailer is the way to go. Now, tip number three is another extremely important part. And this is all about the weight that you flip with. If you're fishing a Texas rig like I am today, the weight that you choose or the jig size that you choose. What I have found during cold water is the lightest bait that you can get away with. The lightest head, the lightest sinker is what you want to fish. That slower gliding action almost always produces a lot more fish when you are flipping and pitching. Now, if you're out there wintertime fishing and maybe you're dragging a bait, maybe you're dragging a jig or something like that across the bottom, that's where you can go up a little bit on weight because it doesn't necessarily matter because the bass isn't hitting that bait on the fall. But when you're flipping and pitching, you're still getting a lot of your bites as that bait falls down. And so having a lighter weight is really what you want in order to get a lot more bites. It just, again, it looks more natural to a fish and you will greatly increase the number of bites that you get. Today, I was out here fishing. I actually caught a fish out here with a half ounce weight, but there was just something telling me that I needed to step down. And I simply went from a half ounce weight to a three eighths ounce weight, and I started getting bit a lot more. And that was, that was the difference. That was a big difference. So the lightest weight that you can get away with, the more fish you're gonna catch. Now, if you are a bank angler and you wanna know a little bit more about fishing a jig in cold water, I actually did a full video of that that I'm gonna leave linked right here. So if you guys enjoyed this one, you'll like that one. Please comment below and I'll see you in the next one.